set. Here they come, Waterbury Lane, very slow to begin, and Catch the Tune also gave away two or three, and Spinner Zonke was slow out too, Mega Master, very untidy beginning. Left-hand side, silvery blue and uncomplicated, showing good early toe. Toward the outside, good travellers in touch with them, Mr. Bayview, extreme right-hand side, Young Nelson between them. Spinner Zonke's four lengths off, green in the running. Two and a half lengths away, Crested Eagle gets some serious reminders coming down to the final 500. Uncomplicated on the left hand side, the big white face. Silvery blue wants to hang in. Good travellers on the grandstand side. Spinner Zonke and Mr. Baby trying to get into it. Crested Eagle's got three lengths to make up and good traveller now. Got his eyes on the prize, 150 metres to go. Good traveller came bounding into the lead. Silvery blue's along the inside but good traveller moves like the wind and this is all over silvery blue second then it's tight behind that crested eagle in a photo with spinner zonke but good traveler far too good for this field In action, good traveller for the Schwegmans, the Visionaire, Glenn Cotson. Anton Marcus doesn't jump aboard these two-year-olds for nothing. He came here for business today. The comments were positive and well done to the Schwegmans. This individual bounds away for glory. Silvery Blue second. Spinner Zonke looking to get up third. In a photo, Spinner Zonke, you still the two riders having a look at one another. Maybe the 13, but wait, let's wait on the judges. Crested Eagle was outpaced from the word go. Lord Varus gets a mention, then came Arnhem Land. Anton Marcus and the Glen Cotson stable have drawn first blood here at Hollywood Bets Scottsville with the number 14 good traveller, the handsome son of Visionaire certainly uh, made a few people take notice here on debut. Before we go any further, let's congratulate Akona, who is the gentleman that uh, works the early hours and the late hours of the day to get the sauce ready. Well done to you, Akona. A thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood and on behalf of Gold Circle. Well done. Congratulations. Enjoy the money. But the extra money certainly helps. Let's uh, get uh, Howard in because uh, uh, the rest of the team will be back with us shortly, I'm sure. Well then, Howard, first of all, welcome back to you and, and all the owners that we've so dearly missed. Lovely to have you all back on course. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, Warren. Thanks uh, for those good wishes. And so great to be here. Had to, as the minute I got the email on Monday to say racing was on, I phoned up, booked our spot at Rockefellers, and here we are with my mates, uh, Russell and, uh, and the team, with Mike and Cam and, uh, and Matt. So thanks, guys, for joining me today. We, we've got a few more runners today, so we're holding thumbs. Yeah. Abs absolutely. Uh, I see Bernie's dream runs a bit later on, but let's talk about Good Traveller. How did you get about Were you at the sales? Did the, the Glenn contact you? How did you find this horse? Yeah, Glenn, you know, we normally get one or, or two maybe on the sales, and Glenn uh, found this one. It was 3 dollars I think, so it was one on the back end. And Glenn was quite excited about the breeding. And he's just uh, gone from strength to strength. You know, as he's, as he's grown up, he's got faster and, and, and he showed it today. John was quietly confident. Um, you know, work at home has been excellent. But yeah, just a quick thank yous, if you don't mind. I know we haven't got long here. So thanks to Anton. What a great ride. He's a, he's a machine. You, you, when Anton rides your horses, you know you've always got a chance. Thanks to John for all the hard work they're doing back home. Thanks to Glenn for choosing the horse and the stable. You know, a lot of hard work goes into it and a, a lot of effort. So thanks to the team and, and thanks to everybody else uh, for making it so special, the family and, and the rest. Thank you. I do think before you go, it's, it's absolutely a wonderful gesture that you've continued to race these horses in the name of estate late Mr. B.A. Schwegman and yourself, of course, Howard, as a tribute to him because, uh, as we said in your last one, he's watching down. He loved the game. He was sick for the game. Yeah. And uh, just wonderful that his name's still in the race yeah, card. No, that's what it's about, Warren. Um, and it makes me a bit emotional, you know, every time we have a winner. And if there's a tote upstairs, he's collecting his cash at the moment. So. <laughs> and Bernie's dream, quick comment from you before we no, talk to he's Anton. He's trying hard. You know, he's a, he's a good sort. Robbie and I, we've got shares and uh, we've had good fun together and he's a great partner. So we're holding thumbs. Keep, Keep cool. cool. Let's hope we chat later. Much appreciate it. Thank Spot you. Spot on. Lovely, Howard. Anton into the winner's enclosure. Anton, I ask you just to adjust the mic if you wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. Well done. Lovely win. Uh, impressive on debut. Nice cult. Nice to come back to Durban after a... 
after being away for a couple of weeks, you know, I mean, I've, I have to thank John. I, I knew absolutely nothing at all about the horse. Uh, just spoke to him. He said, you want to ride this one, you know. Um, he won a good race, you know, despite the fact that he went down a bit green, which is, which, you know, which, which all goes well for the future because, you know, if they go down and they know what it's all about, you know, often you wonder how much is left to come. He went sure. down, he was all at sea. That was a very, very promising win, Warren. Lovely, and uh, a light book of rides uh, in the sense of the amount of rides. Uh, just two more to come. What are you expecting? I can only tell you what I see in the book. Cora Mandel, I guess. I wrote him in Cape Town. I was of the opinion that he's looking for a, for a bit further, you know. I mean, you've yes. got to respect Cape Town form. But, you know, it's got a shocking marble, seven furlong, you know, unless he's just better in the field. But, sure. you know, my first impression was is that he'd need the run. And uh, I think Bernie's dream must have some kind of a chance, you know. He, Seems to have his better form at Gravel. I thought a five up the straight might be a touch on the sharp side, but hopefully he'll be finishing. Lovely, lovely to talk to you. Lovely to have you back home and uh, all the best for the rest of the day. Keep cool. Wayne Belinda and the boys, thank you. Ridgemont Highlands, wonderful, Anton. Wayne and Belinda, yeah, Ridgemont Highlands sponsor him. And bang, they're in the winner's enclosure here with good traveler. 14, 2, 13, 7. Those are the numbers that you're going to need for race one. Bipods are on, we're moving on to the place accumulator. The replay is coming up shortly.